Notice there's no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey. I'm your host, David E. McClendon, Sr., and today we're going to review the book, Eat Wheat. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our um, readers, um, the authors and uh, publicists and manufacturers that we've met via the um, reviews. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, the book Eat Weed is a very interesting read. And if you've ever had problems with uh, uh, sensitivities to different foods, different food allergies, that type of thing, you probably want to read this book. It is very interesting, and uh, the good doctor takes us through a lot of different... Uh, scenarios, a lot of different things that uh, can cause different uh, adverse reactions to food and how to counteract that. He gives us some great advice. He also gives us some history about uh, how our food and uh, food insensitivities got to, to where they are. And um, it's just chock full of all sorts of good information. And quite frankly, whenever I'm reading a book about medical things, I tend to zone out. But I didn't do that with this book. It was a very interesting read. Uh, he's got several different recipes in the book, several different remedies for uh, our food allergies. It's uh, very well written. It's very well researched. The doctor has uh, taken the effort to put it into terms that uh, even a redneck like me can understand. Um, so of course, there are some big medical terms, but uh, he breaks that down and explains what it is he's talking about, so it's not a real problem. Uh, he also tells us how that after we um, detox our body, how we can get back to eating the foods that we love. And one thing he helped me to understand a little bit better about why uh, years ago we had gotten off of uh, different other foods. Uh, we were trying to eat healthier. And uh, I had stopped drinking uh, diet soda water. Well, after a while, about a month, I decided, hey, I've been done good. I'll treat myself to a diet soda water. Now, I'm a diabetic, and uh, my blood sugar level was just crazy after that. Way, way up high, way down low, just uh, all over the board. And uh, with no rhyme or reason other than the fact that I had uh, drank that 120-ounce uh, diet soda water. He helped explain this a little bit and helped me to understand a little bit better about what happened. Now, we give this book all five stars. We suggest that you read it. We think that it would be great to add to your library. It's got a few recipes in there about how to do some of the different uh, things that he suggests, some of the different foods. And uh, he tells us uh, how to lower our blood sugar, how to um, control it better, how to help with our blood pressure, and uh, how to get to where we're not so having so many bouts of indigestion and that type of thing. So it's a really good all-around nutrition book. But of course, before you were to start and change anything in your diet, you need to consult with your uh, medical care provider and see what uh, what they say. We wholeheartedly suggest this book. Again, we give it all five stars. And if you read it and you have any questions or comments, please drop us an email over at gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Like us if you would, and please subscribe to this channel if you would. And we thank you. Thank you. Notice that there is no one-size-fits-all financial, nutritional, lifestyle plan that will be right for everyone or every situation. Always consult qualified professionals before making any life-changing decisions. This information is to be used for education only. Use this information at your own risk. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. 
If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. This is an FTC required notice. How to Manage Your Monkey is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program, an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon.com. Warning, the following segment contains references to bodily functions normally associated with junior high school humor. Proceed with caution. Wow, Gandy, a good book. Well, I think it was an excellent book. Oh, I understand that the doctor uh, tells about some beans that don't cause flatulence. Uh, that's true. Um, but then again, uh, you, if you got rid of the flatulence, you wouldn't have any personality at all, would you? What do you mean? Oh, you know, like that, uh, um, that song you taught me. Uh, beans, beans, good for the heart. The more you eat, the more you... Hamlet. Now, uh, you taught me that, Gindy. I know that I did, but I told you not to sing it in public. I wasn't singing it in public, I was singing it here in the studio. And besides, you told me not to sing it at kindergarten. Well, you didn't sing it at kindergarten, did you? No. I sang it at Sunday school. You did what? I sang it at Sunday school. Oh, what did your teacher say? Uh, well, my teacher wasn't there. We had somebody different. Who did you have? Uh, preacher said so. And what did he do? Well, we started out, we were singing songs. Start out with Jesus Loves Me, and then after a couple of songs, he said, Well, what would you kids like to sing? And I told him, I'd like to sing the Bean Song. He said, I don't believe we all know that. <clears throat> and I said, Well, it goes like this. Beans, beans, good for the heart. The more you eat, the more you... And he then said, Why don't we play Duck, Duck, Goose? And I said, Okay. And he said, I could be the gooser. The gooser? Yeah, you know, the guy that goes around tapping people on the head. Uh, they, they, they sit around in a circle, they get down, and, uh, sit on the floor in a circle, and the gooser goes around and taps them on the head and says, duck, 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 and then when he gets to the one he wants to chase him, he says, goose. And so when I got to Preacher Said So, I tapped him on the head and said, goose. Well, why did you choose Preacher Said So? Because he's old and slow. Uh, how old is he? 28. That's not old. Yeah, it is. Anyway, so... Uh, he chased me around, and I got back to my spot, and I sat down, and about the time I went to sit down, uh, the beans kicked in. <laughs> they did? Yeah, they kicked in pretty bad, and uh, it blew poor little Molly away. She fell over like a weeble. She fell over like a weeble. Then what happened? Then she got up and started running without anybody having goosed her. We hadn't seen her since. Well, okay. Why don't you give everybody your email address? Okay, people, if you'd like to drop me an email, do so over at uh, SeymourHamlet at gmail.com. That's the letter C, period, M-O-O-R-E, period, H-A-M-L-E-T, at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.